Welcome back everybody to your second Java tutorial. This video is where we're actually going to write our first Java program and just break down the structure. But before we get started, I want to give a special shout out to our sponsor, Pramp. Pramp allows you to do peer-to-peer -peer interviews to practice your interviewing skills to get a job in the industry. You can practice your Java doing interviews for data structures and algorithms, but they also have stuff for system design, front end, and even behavioral interviews. If you're interviewing with someone and there's just some kind of chemistry between you, you guys can connect and do more interviews in the future. So a lot of people are using Pramp to get jobs at Google, Twitter, Facebook, all kinds of sweet tech companies. So please check out the link in the description and go sign up for a free account. I promise guys, you will not be disappointed. Go give them a try. So there's a couple things you're going to need. The first thing is the Java development kit. So I already downloaded that. Installation is pretty simple. I'm not gonna go through all of that. Just go through the steps. The next thing you're going to need is an IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. Doesn't really matter if you know what it stands for, but basically it's a fancy text editor. <laughs> There's two really common ones with Java. One is Eclipse and the other is NetBeans. So which one you choose is totally up to you. I'm gonna go with Eclipse because that's what I have experience with. If you have NetBeans and that's what you use, you should be okay to follow this series just the same. But if you don't have anything, I'd go with Eclipse. Okay, download. I'm on Mac, so I'm gonna go down here and click this Download Packages button, and then you can see that the different options are over here on the right. The one I'm gonna go with is this Eclipse IDE for Java developers, and I'm gonna get the Mac version. And I'm just gonna drag Eclipse into the applications. And there we go, we should have everything we need to start programming in Java. So in your applications, you can just look up Eclipse. And there you go. When you open Eclipse, it's going to ask you about a workspace. And you can see it just stores your preferences and a bunch of other junk. So I'm just going to say that this is fine and that we can use this for all future occurrences. All right. When Eclipse opens, you're going to want to click Create a New Java Project. In here, you can name anything you want. I'm going to call it Hello. And then I'm just going to click Finish. And then I'm just going to click Don't Create. All right, so you have your project open. Some of the different things you should know about in Eclipse, this thing over here, the Package Explorer, this is where all your projects are gonna be and you can open them and look at all the files. This is gonna be used quite often. Oh, that's overwhelming. Good thing we don't really have to worry about any of that. <laughs> Down here on the bottom is where your compilation errors and your warnings are gonna go. So when you try to run something, they'll show up right here. And then there's some other junk over here which I don't really care about, so I'm just gonna click these little minus signs and get rid of those. We can start working with our project by right clicking it and clicking new class. And then make sure you check this box, public static void main string args. So check that and what that does is basically say, hey, this is where, we, where I want my application to start. Then we can give it a name. I'm just gonna call it my sweet program and then click finish. All right, and then double click it. And here's our program. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna run the project so we can actually say, hey, we created our first application. And then what I wanna do is I wanna break down some of this garbage in here. <laughs> so get rid of this line and replace it with system.out.println. And then put these parentheses and inside of these parentheses just say, hello there. Okay, so you have to copy this exactly, including the capitalization. So system starts with a capital letter and then a lowercase o and a lowercase p and a lowercase l. So everything else is lowercase. And we're gonna talk about all the capitalization and junk in this series, so don't worry about it. Once you got that written, you can save it by holding Command S or if you're on Windows, Control S, and then going up here and clicking this play button. And you can see it prints hello world inside of our console window. The console window is where we're gonna be interacting with our program a lot. This is where we're gonna give input, this is where we're gonna see our output, and this is basically our application. As you get better at Java, you can then move on to user interfaces, or you can move on to web applications, which would serve like JavaScript and HTML and CSS. And even you can do mobile applications, you can do Android applications, and there are even some things out there to help you make iPhone apps with Java. So the sky is the limit, but for the basics, it's always best just to start in the console. That is all I'm gonna talk about in this video. In the next video, we're gonna talk about every single piece of this code here, so you have a good understanding of that foundation. I feel like a lot of people just jump in, start writing stuff, and you really don't understand what any of this means. So hopefully by the end of that video, you're gonna understand what every single one of these keywords means. It might take some time to really, you know, understand it deeply, but at least getting that basic understanding. That's all I got for you guys. Please be sure to check out the description for a link to the crash course, as well as the blog and the sponsor, Pramp, who is uh, 
super awesome. So check all those out, guys. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.